Kingdom greetings. The countdown to the lockdown have begun already. As uh, our president and his cabinet and everyone involved uh, were candid, you know, to take pre uh, proactive measures to make sure that the lives of many are spared and our nation rebounds after this pandemic. So our job is to support the government to be fully behind what is being done for the greater good. Now, as Christians, we have to remember, besides being South Africans, we are also kingdom citizens. As such, our job is to navigate into space at the same time. One is the national space, where we know for 21 days we will be locked in, making sure that you don't do things that are going to jeopardize the lives of many. But as kingdom citizen, there's a number of things that you need to know when crisis and difficult times like this one do happen. One, the critical issue is never what is going on out there. It is the attitude and behavior that one adopts. Now, I've been saying already on Wednesday that when the siege comes, it has one strategy whether it's a ministry siege or it's this pandemic. It's basically to suffocate, to starve, but moreover, to push us to surrender to self-defeating attitude. Things like anger, things like fear, recklessness, and restlessness. These are things that you need to avoid at all costs because they will just work against us and against the population. What then do we do uh, in the face of this? First of all, you have to appreciate that we live in an era and a time where technology is well advanced. Yes, we're talking about social distance, but truth be told, it's just the physical distance that you're going to be suffering from. Socially, we are not distanced. We can connect via cell phones, we can connect via uh, live stream, and many, many technological advancements that we had. So let's keep informed, let's keep in the loop, let's keep connected with one another through prayer, through praise, through the meditation of the word. What I will recommend us to do, particularly as kingdom citizen living in South Africa, is to remember that at work, our primary function is to point people to God. But what kind of God are we pointing people to? Is the God who is ever present in times of need. We need God more than ever before. So therefore, instead of spreading fear and panic, declare to whoever who is in your network that God is present. Number two, it is to Proclaim that God is powerful. Yes, it is uh, the, for the first time for the majority of us to go through such thing. But we are encouraged that God has gone through so many crises and he always came on top. Tell the people, encourage yourself that God is powerful and he will see us through. Three is to declare as well that God is all wise that what seems to be a tunnel without light will, through divine providence, end up being something glorious. Yes, you know, jobs are going to be uh, jo in jeopardy. Many things that we're we, we just not certain of what will happen, but we know if we trust the wisdom of God, things are going to be all right. But more than anything else, the last and most important message to proclaim so that we point people to God, is that God is loving. He will never allow something to hurt his own population. He loves us. That when all is said and done, we will still be around tomorrow. Be encouraged. Don't consider this as a lockdown, but see it as a time of a retreat where we can spend more time seeking the Lord, knowing more about God, and when we come out of it, we will be stronger, and together we will move forward our nation and our kingdom. God bless, and see you very soon. So, 
we can get in touch with one another through our social media. You can follow us through Twitter and other outlets that are too many that I don't know, but it's there. You know, Twitter and other things will keep us informed, will keep us, will keep us rather connected with one another. So apart from that, I've learned as well uh, through prayer and just seeing the behavior of God through times of crisis that somehow he raises people with an unusual kind of generosity who will step in when we cannot meet together, we cannot do things as we used to do to support and to carry the burden, financial burden of our organizations. So I will ask you to look at the banking details that is appearing on your screen right now. Connect te te uh, technologically, do a direct banking. Open up to God like I did so that God will speak to you personally at what level of sacrifice does he want you to operate so that his work doesn't suffer because of this quarantine. Bless you. May the Lord bless all of us until we meet face to face for a major celebration.